G'day all. Uh, the shovel must be one of the most important pieces of equipment you can carry when you go four wheel driving. Now, I've been holding mine on the roof racks. Uh, I've made my own bracket and I've also used a rhino rack bracket. Uh, I've never been 100% happy with either of them. Uh, I've also tried the rubber ratchet style ones. Uh, but anyway, in the pursuit for perfection in four-wheel drive accessories, I'm going to show you what I've recently found. Uh, but just want to show you the issues I've had with the way I've been uh, holding my shovel uh, for the last few years. Come with me, I'll show you how I've been holding my shovel. Actually, no, no, stay there. I'll move the camera. So this is the bracket that I've made and I've purposely made it very low profile because I don't have much room under my garage. In fact when I'm driving in I've literally got millimetres to spare as it backs in. This is the Rhino holder and as you can see I've already damaged the handle because it sits too high and it's vulnerable to be hit by branches and sticks. Now. The biggest issue So one of the things I don't like is because the handle is thin here and thick there I've got to spend a fair bit of time unscrewing this all the way so I can pull that out and then when I pull it out I'm stuck. I have problems pulling the shovel all the way out. Wouldn't it be good if you could just unclip that or this? That would make more sense and it would be much easier and quicker to access the shovel. Now there are also these rubber ratchet style uh, thingy me jigs but they're not lockable now neither are these but you know so we haven't got a, a good solution until now I came across a brand I never heard before online uh, Yakima here's a little beast here how good is this open close, it's lockable, and it's very low profile. Lifetime guarantee, limited, in the pursuit of perfection, again. Uh, these are designed, obviously, for Yakima roof racks. Uh, I've got Rhino roof racks. It still fits. It'll still just bolt on. I'll show you that soon. Um, but I'm still going to grind that face down about four and a half millimetres uh, to get the profile even lower. So here we got, uh, just trying to show you what I've done, I've just shaved or, or uh, taken off the edges of the bottom of the bracket, so that will then fit in the channel of the Rhino rack, and that will also you know, give it a little bit more twisting strength I guess. Version 2, I took a little bit more time and left the outer edges on the bracket, uh, so it'll more snug within the channel of the rhino rack. And there we have it. Simple. Open. Open. I got my shovel out. Back in. Close, close, done. That is so much better. Now, 
are they strong enough? Let's say you're going in the bush and you hit a branch. works for me. Now, although these are lockable, and that's a good feature, uh, if I was a determined criminal, I could force these apart, break them, and then steal the shovel. Um, it's not a perfect world. I could grind these down so that they would be protected by the top latch. Uh, you can see that one's sort of a bit more robust but I'll just leave it the way it is at the moment another thing too on the website it's not very clear unless they've uh, recently updated it but it's not very clear as to whether you buy one or two uh, they were just shy of $70 and you get a pair uh, in a box so that's it <laughs>